Hello, this is all oral communication lectures. If you're interested in oral communication or you have subjects in your business subjects, so I do study business, so you can have this communication. How to give and receive constructive criticism. Thought. I have never in my life learned anything from any man who agreed with me. You can see. That's a very important line, very important quotes by Dudley Field Mala. Constructive criticism. Constructive criticism is a helpful way of giving feedback that provides specific actionable suggestions rather than providing general advice. Constructive criticism gives specific recommendations on how to make positive improvements. Constructive criticism is clear to the point and easy to put into action. The other one is the one and only reason for constructive criticism is to get yourself motivated. Someone to change behavior, you can see there was a blank space missing like a blank. It's a kind of picture. You can see there's a remark. It's motivation that makes help you for your further steps. That's it. So if you go further, um, why constructive criticism is valuable to our team? Like we can say how. Core values, integrity, teamwork, excellent. These are the three points which can help you about that. Continuous quality improvement and destructive silence. Destructive silence is kind of silence when you like have nothing to do. We are you understand a lot. You are taking suggestions from everyone, and it's kind of like that. And the further is kind of barrier. This prevent positive criticism. It's kind of barriers. You know about the barriers about positive criticism. It's kind of different here. I don't have time. It's their job to complete the assignment. Why should I praise them to meeting their job requirements? I don't know how to do it. I don't want to do. Perceived as weak by praising others. Praising feels awkward. Nobody gives me positive feedback. I have no role model. I have too many employees, co-workers to do it efficiently. Effectively, with all of them, my employees will expect to raise if I praise them. Our employees already know they are doing a good job. I feel silly giving positive feedback. This employee co-worker is motivated and doesn't need positive feedback. I don't care whether he employs praises or gross. Next one. How to give constructive criticism. How to give main thing how to give constructive criticism address the person without taking uh, taking the person how would you feel receiving it realize the relationship matter review assumptions the sandwich technique uh, whatever because all of us heard many times about sandwich technique and I believe you do you do it relaxes the other person creates an open state of mind to receive constructive criticism reduce possibility of anger reactions to let the other person know you are on their side motivate the person to accept constructive criticism do it when the person is in good mind see this is a very important thing you need to do when the person is in a good state of mind and obviously he's in a, in a mood or something otherwise you cannot help with that the further compliment criticism compliment you can see there's a difference in a burger you can compare compliments kind of like a buns and the criticism is like the sandwich inside the cheesy, the beef, the tomatoes, the plim plim plum. So yeah, hope you understand that. Constructive criticism guidelines. Hmm. Use statements. Be tentative. Keep an 
open order for dialogues, criticize in private and praise in public, be limited focus on the present, do not use comparison, take the team approach, listen to the person's response, allow the person to make decisions. It's a very important thing guys, to be honest, it's a very important fact. Constructive criticism guidelines. HALT process. We all know about the HALT process. If you up till now you never heard in your life what is HALT process, you can see it right now. Never criticize when the other person is HALT. Hungry, angry, lonely, tired. This is a way main thing in life, brother and sisters. Whoever is listening to me, you need to get it and write out in your notepad that these four words can change your life and explore your life and destroy your life and be a chance to motivate in your life. Never criticize when the other person is hungry, angry, lonely or tired. The X the SSS method Acknowledge their effort first before you criticize them. Compliment them. You can acknowledge them by saying, Wow, I like how you. I love what you did with the way you did XYZ. Makes it so clear to me. Or simply, great job. You need to motivate each and every one in your life, as I do and I want to do. The ASS ESS method. Stay curious and ask questions about the area of feedback. Most of the time, our meanings and judgments are not true and those pesky judgments can get us into trouble with the person we are communicating with. There's the course by other. That's the main point. Remember the words. You can prevent sounding judgments by asking, may I ask a question about? I noted on the previous slide that you I'm wondering about this particular area or my personal favorite. Tell me more about your approach. The ASS ESS method. Stop and just listen. Learn to embrace silence when you're listening. Our work environment is so competitive. We often just listen to response with thoughts instead of listening to understand their thoughts. So when you feel the urge to jump in, take a deep breath and wait for them to finish. That's the main goal. The ESS, the ESS matter again. Express what doesn't work for you and why. You can express what doesn't work for you with soft statements like that doesn't work for me because uh, <laughs> blah blah blah. In my experience, this hasn't worked for me because or blah blah blah. It didn't quite land the way with me you had intended because blah blah blah. You can carry on with that like that. The ASS ESS method once again suggests how you would approach it differently. Less productive praises, see praising clothes. You should do it this way. That can't be right or I wouldn't have done it like that. To give a genuine suggestions, you can say things like, in my experience, XYZ has worked well. You could try, you can always, you may want to, if I had my way, I might, in this case, I would. The ASS method again, solicit their thoughts on your suggestion. Remember what is a dialogue, not a monologue. If they're inviting you to give your thoughts, absolutely invite them to give their thoughts in return. You can try praising like, I love to know what you think about that. Or what, uh, what are your thoughts on that? How to handle constructive criticism? Never react immediately. By delaying your response, you prevent yourself from responding emotionally. Do not take it personally. Eliminate yourself from the circumstance and focus on what's being evaluated. How to handle constructive criticism. That's very important, brother. Know yourself worth. 
Do not allow criticism to define yourself worth. However, instead concentrate on your strength. Remember my words, guys. Accept that you might be wrong. Nobody is perfect. Everybody has some defeats. Once you have identified the criticism as a constructive one, no matter how harsh is your critic, admit that you have something to improve. That's very important, brothers. How to handle constructive criticism? Understand that you can't please everybody. You can never please everybody, no matter how well you do your job. Somebody's going to criticize you. Accept that. Always value criticism. When people share a position, so we feel happy, but when they criticize us, we feel rejected. Appreciate the people who share valuable suggestions. Appreciate the fact that people taking the time to talk to you something that can make an even better person. How to handle? Again, remind yourself of the benefits of getting constructive criticism. Boost your humanity, opportunity to improve yourself, opens up the new perspectives, improve your rational thinking, opportunity to choose peace and conflict. That's the one topic you know about guys if you like that do share do comment and subscribe thank you we'll come back with another topic next time